Hey guys, welcome to another installment of the Rebel Rookies Backyard Edition. Welcome to my backyard. Uh, I'm Lee Broxham from Melbourne Victory. I've designed a set of uh, skills and drills that you can do at home, uh, in your backyard or any little space that you've got. Um, things that I think are important to help it develop your game um, uh, that I did when I was young and that would really help me a lot. Okay, I'm going to run you through all the equipment that you'll need for today's Rebel Rookies Skills and Drills session. Okay, first up, you need a water bottle to keep you hydrated. The next thing you need um, are some Rebel cones, um, or if you don't have them, just anything you've got at home that can mark out some spaces in your backyard. And lastly, uh, a soccer ball, a football, or any other sort of ball that you've got around the house that you can use. Okay, so today I'm gonna to run you through some skills and drills um, that really focus in on coordination and timing and all the important things that really help you in football. So let's get into it. First drill is the marker dodge, um, which really helps you with your coordination um, and your decision making. As you can see, I've already put down all my markers. Uh, it can be anything in the house, you can use whatever you've got spare if you don't have any markers, and that's fine. Uh, the idea is not to hit any markers, so we're just putting the ball down, and we're just going to dribble through the markers, okay? So you're using the inside of your feet, or you're using the top of your feet. It's the idea not to hit any of the markers and you're working on the control so you're keeping the ball close not letting for example an opponent get the ball um, and you're working on um, you know if you want to incorporate any little skills as well that you might have um, that you've already practiced okay so for example you're just dribbling around using the inside using the outside of your feet using both feet okay maybe you just want to do a little bit dribbling just the inside of your feet working on taking the ball around the cone don't hit it like that Maybe you want to work on using the top of your feet, taking the ball around cones like so. Maybe you want to work on the outside of your feet, going around cones with just the outside, using both feet, okay? So there's no time limit on this, you can do it as long as you want. Take little breaks, make sure you stay hydrated while doing it. It's a great little drill to work on close control, okay? So again, you can use anything in the house. Um, it's great working on your agility, your first touch, your close control, and keeping the ball away from opponents, okay? Good job, guys. The second drill is football juggling. Um, this is a great one for, for close control and, and really working on your first touch. So let's get stuck into that one as well. Starting quite easy and can work your way up. If you've juggled before, you can start at any point, okay? So what I'd generally begin with and what I've been working with my kids you might just start with a kick and catch so it's just a simple one kick up like that using both feet kick and catch or if you're finding that difficult too you can let it bounce kick and catch or you can even kick it and let it bounce just to get the feel of where the ball's meant to go and you can slowly work into maybe doing two and then just catching the ball we're working on one simple thigh or two thighs and catch so you're slowly working your way up at whatever point, you can use any of these examples. If even just using your thigh to begin with is easier, or even with a bounce and catch, just to get the feel of the movement of where it's meant to go. If you've, once you've done that, or if you know how to juggle, you can start moving into the two. Then maybe you want to set your target of 10. That was about 10. You can slowly work your way up using both, using both feet, okay? So maybe you want to go to 20. Twenty. And then you can keep going. Keep going. Remember I was a kid, I used to try and outbeat, get my best score every time, whether you got a hundred, and then just try and beat that every day, okay? Working in everything as well, maybe you want to go feet onto your thighs, onto your head. You can work on anything, okay? And maybe you want to test yourself, bringing it all the way up, shoulders, oh, maybe I'm a bit rusty, but you can work on anything, any little skills as well. Maybe you want to start with a few around the world, and then even just working on just juggling with your head maybe as well, okay? 
So you can work your way up, whether you're just starting with a bounce and juggle, or kick and catch, one juggle, two juggles. Go for your record, juggling with your head, incorporating everything, okay? So it's a great one for just close control, using to get a feel for the ball, um, and it's a really good one that you can just do in a small space at home as well. So that's a great job, guys, good job. The third drill today is tight turns, which is really important um, in retaining the ball and keeping ball possession. So uh, let's get stuck into this one. This is a handy one, um, maybe it's a bit more complex, but you can work your way up from different, um, different levels as well. So this is important, turning away from your opponent. Um, if you've got mum and dad at home, or if you've got a brother or a sister, cousins, anyone at home that you can use, or even um, you can just put down a cone or anything, okay? So if you've got your ball, there's so many different turns you can do. The probably simplest one, if you're dribbling with the ball, you can stop, take it with the inside of your foot, okay? Using both feet, you can take it like that, okay? Another simple one that you can begin with, is just simply stopping the ball, dragging it back, okay? Dribbling the ball, stopping it, dragging it back, okay? So these are simple ones, and then there's lots of different turns, but it's important that you're just keeping the turn nice and close, okay? So you're keeping the ball close to you as you're turning. Um, you can incorporate other turns as well. You can use the outside of your foot if you want. Coming up and just turning with the outside of your foot. When you're doing these, making sure you're using both feet. You never know where you're gonna play on the field, what foot you might need. So you're taking the ball away. Maybe your opponent's coming from here. So you're turning away if you're your opponent, okay? Lots of different turns as well. People love Cruyff turns if you're if you're very complex and you're getting good at turns, you might be faking to take a shot and turning away from your opponent, okay? So most of these turns, keeping the ball in play, um, there's lots of different turns that you can do. They're just some examples of using all parts of your feet. You never know where your opponent's gonna be coming from. Maybe they're coming from your right. You need to take away with the outside of your left foot, for example. Okay, so they're just things that you can work on at home in a small space again. Um, and it's quite simple. Get people involved at your house too, um, and make some fun of it. Fourth and final drill is the Ronaldo chop. Um, I should have called it the Broxham chop, really, but um, we're gonna go with the Ronaldo chop. Uh, if you've got someone around that you can uh, do it against at home, that'll be great. It's similar to the turns that we've just done, um, you know, maybe similar to a Cruyff turn, but a bit more complex, I think. So um, it's something that you can work on. Um, definitely practice makes perfect, so you can, start off doing it very slow and slowly work your way up uh, into doing it at full speed. Maybe you might just want to do it at walking speed, for example, and just do the motion. So if the ball's maybe even stationary, just practice chopping the ball away, okay? Um, even again, yeah, just doing it stationary. And as you get more comfortable doing it, you can move the ball and do it quicker, okay? And doing it, um, if you have the space, ultimately at, at, at quicker speeds, where Ronaldo would do most of his, okay? So you're doing it quicker and chopping away, okay? So it's, it's quite a complex one. Um, so for a bit of fun, we're gonna see uh, how many chops we can do, Ronaldo chops, uh, in 15 seconds, let's say, okay? So you might get a little bit dizzy, but that's why it's a bit of fun, okay? So I'm gonna give it a go. I'm gonna go for 15 seconds and just chop around in a circle, okay? So here we go. It's almost like Ronaldo in a game anyway. Have we got a timer going? I'd say that's about 15 seconds and about a thousand chops. Okay, so that's, that's a bit of fun. Maybe not that realistic and I'm a bit dizzy, but give it a go. You know, 15 seconds, that's all it is. It'll help you improve as well. Good job, guys. That's our skills and drills session done, guys. I really hope you enjoyed it. It was an amazing effort. It's a good little exercises that you can use. So that's us done for the Rebel Rookies Backyard Edition. Make sure you subscribe to the Rebel channel uh, to get some more great content from myself or from some other great Aussie athletes out there. Um, help you keep fit and healthy. Um, so I'll see you next time.